Hello, welcome back to GOT Good Old Tech. Today we're going to do a deep dive into the Pixel 8 Pro versus the Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL and why you shouldn't upgrade or should you. Let's get to it. Now in this video, I will mostly be talking about upgrading from the Pixel 8 Pro to the 9 Pro. If you're coming from another device or you're coming from the standard phone, that's a different consideration. And watch to the end of this video and we'll talk about that. This year, they're giving less trade-in value on all their phones in all the categories. And for me, it doesn't seem like just on trade-in value alone that it's worth it. But we're going to get into the specs and see. So let's start with how I came up with these specs. What's really interesting is I went ahead and let Gemini make me a chart on the specs. So here's what that looked like. I went ahead and opened up the Gemini app, typed in to give me a side-by-side -side specs chart on the two phones, and this is what it did. And then I compared that to a, another live AI that's been out a lot longer, and that's Copilot, and I asked it to do the same thing. And here's the results. You check this out. So Gemini gave me a pretty good list, but as you can see here, it's actually 10 items versus the Copilot. The Copilot actually gave me more detail specs. Now I did all this on the Pixel 8 Pro, through the Gemini Advanced. And if you ask me, it's not that advanced. Now on that topic real quick, I do not recommend subscribing to Gemini Advanced, not right now, especially. I got it for the free month version, so I'm not paying for it. And then next month, when I get the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, it's gonna come with Gemini Advanced for a year, so I should not have to pay for it, because all you gotta do is get it one time, and you can use it on all your devices. All you gotta do is download the app. Now, if you're thinking, well, what about the Gemini Live where you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the AI? Well, that's just not out yet. So when will it come out? Not sure when it does. I will do a demo on that. And again, that will also come out on the Pixel 8 Pro. So AI alone is not a reason to upgrade. It's just not fully baked. So let's talk about looks and feel. As you can see on the Pixel 8 Pro, it still has that full visor with the camera bar versus the Pixel 9 Pro series and even the 9 it has more of an island form with the cameras. Now that's a personal preference, what you like better. I kind of like the island look, or some people like the streamlined full bar on the back of the Pixel 8. I don't think it really matters. What really matters is the difference between the two, and that ain't much, and we'll cover that just in a second. When you look at the design of the chassis, it's, it's squared off. It's just like these other phones. You've got the iPhone, which has the squared off look, and then of course the Samsung S24 series. So they're all starting to look the same. So don't really purchase the phone because it looks and feel in the hand because they're all going to be pretty much the same. So what we really want is what are the specs? So let's get into it. Let's start off with the camera. Is there any difference between the 8 Pro and the 9 Pro? Unfortunately, not. So if you look at the spec sheet here, and I'm going to look at the Copilot spec sheet because it's coming out a lot more detail. When you look at the cameras, you've got a 50 megapixel wide, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel five time telephoto lens. Looks very similar. Matter of fact, they're exactly the same thing. And this year they pitched on AI assisting in photography. Well, that's going to come with the 8 Pro as well. So if you buy your phones because of the camera, do not upgrade. There's no sense in that. So if you're a big selfie person, well, you might want to upgrade simply because of the camera. On the Pixel 8 Pro, you have the 10.5 megapixel camera. And on the Pixel 9 now, you have a 42 megapixel camera. Now, why you would want that much difference, I don't know, because they both shoot 1080p and 4K on that selfie camera. I don't know how much more detail you need. I know that on this mug, <laughs> nobody needs that much detail. But that's a personal preference. If you need a better selfie camera, well, there you go. And then you got the battery. The battery barely increased by 10 milliamp hours. I don't think that's enough to notice, but the next category, the chip performance, does help in battery performance, where you have the new Tyson G4 in the Pixel 9 Pro series and the G3 in the Pixel 8. Now, is there going to be a whole lot of difference? Well, they say the performance is going to be a little higher, but I will say the Pixel 8 is very snappy. I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of difference whatsoever. Does it warrant upgrading? I don't think so. You know, they touted all the AI stuff, but I don't think you're going to lack anything in the Pixel 8 in performance compared to the Pixel 9. There might be a slight bit speed difference, but not many of us would ever notice that. So just for the upgrade of the chip, yeah, it'll save battery life a little bit, but we still need to see and test that performance. If it were me, I would wait a little bit and see from testing if it does last a little longer, simply because of the chip. Only time will tell us that. 
Well, if you ever did feel your 8 Pro lagging, well, the 9 Pro comes with 16 gigs of RAM versus 12 gigs of RAM. So you are getting quite more RAM, so it will be able to do a lot more things in the background and it will be able to process things a little bit faster due to the extra RAM. So if you're a RAM person and you do a lot of things in the background, and we really will be able to compare that once I get the 9 Pro Fold in hand and I will go head to head on the two. Now the connectivity, of course, you got the Wi-Fi 7 versus Wi-Fi 6, which to me, that's not a big deal. Wi-Fi 6 isn't even really all that widely spread. So jumping to 7 already, that's a little premature. I wouldn't upgrade just for that. And here's a real shocker. You got Android 14 on the Pixel 8 Pro and the Pixel 9 Pro, guess what? It's coming out with Android 14. So there's not going to be any difference in the operating system. Now they probably upgrade to Android 15 shortly after. And of course, they'll probably upgrade the Pixel 9 first, but shortly after that, the Pixel 8, because we have seven years guaranteed of updates on the Pixel 8 Pro. So it's good for the next six years on the upgrade where you get seven years on the Pixel 9 Pro, but that's not a whole lot of difference right there. And then if you look at the special features, well, it says on the 8 Pro, you've got special AI editing for photos and videos. Then of course, seven year warranty. Well, you have all that on the Pixel 9 Pro. And then what the Pixel 9 Pro talks about here is it will do 8K videos. Now, I've never really done 8K videos because it's not worth it. It takes too much space. And there's not many of us out there that can actually view 8K videos. So why even worry about that right now? That is absolutely not a reason to upgrade for 8K video. Now the 9 Pro has the ultrasonic fingerprint reader versus the optical fingerprint scanner in the Pixel 8. So this is, they're saying 50 times faster. So you have a more accurate reader on the Pixel 9 Pro. Now I typically didn't have those scanning issues because I used Face ID and it worked really well. Now that's basically it. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two phones other than the newer look. Now, if you're one of those that upgrade your phones every year, regardless, hey, let me know down in the links below. Do you see enough change? Do you think it's worth upgrading? I really want to know what you all think. So in summary, do I recommend upgrading from the Pixel 8 Pro to the 9 Pro? Not at all. Unless you're one of those who want the smaller version because you got the 8 Pro and really didn't like the size. You wish it was smaller. Well, there you got it. With the 9 Pro, you can get the smaller version, which is exactly what you were looking for. And I like the fact that they made the two sizes with no compromise, unlike Apple. So not penalizing you because you have the smaller hands or you like the smaller phone, that's a good thing. So if you're coming from a different phone or a different device, then yes, the Pixel 9 Pro would be the way to go. It's a great phone. You might as well get it and have all the most current features and technology. Also, if you're upgrading from, say, the Pixel 8 and you want to get a Pro, this is a great time to do that. You can get the Pixel 9 Pro, the smaller version, so it fits in your hands, very similar to that of the Pixel 8. That way you get all the benefits of the Pro version in the smaller size. So I would definitely upgrade from the Pixel 8 to the Pixel 9 Pro. In another video, I will address whether you should upgrade from the Pixel 8 to the Pixel 9. So stay tuned for that one. Now, if you got something out of this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know, show me some love, because it really does help out the channel. And of course, while you're down there, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more content because we got a lot more to come. We've got to talk about the Pixel 9. We've got to talk about the uh, new Pixel 9 Pro Fold. We've got a bunch of comparisons coming soon. So don't miss out. Subscribe now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, God bless.